Consider four circles that are touching each other. One surprising fact that seems to be true is that the four touch points always remain in a circle. But is this always true? In this video we will try to prove it. One simple way to prove this would be to draw the quadrilaterals joining the four points and proving that the opposite angles sum to 180 degrees. In fact, I encourage you to try to prove this yourself. However, I will be using this problem as a pretext to introduce you to a geometric transformation called inversion. You can think of inversion as a kind of reflection but through a circle. Inversion turns the plane inside out. That is, it sends points inside the circle outside the circle and sends the points outside the circle inside the circle. If a point is close to the center of the circle, the inversion is further from the circle. The further a point is from the center of a circle, the closer the inversion is to the center of the circle. The center itself gets mapped to what we call the point at infinity. The formula for inversion is given as follows. Take the distances from the center of the circle to the point we are inverting and the inverted point. The product of these two distances must be equal to the square of the circle's radius. Inversion of a point by itself is not very interesting. What we are interested in is the inversion of a collection of points such as a line or a circle. As we can see, if we invert a line, we get a circle. Similarly, if you invert a circle, what you get is another circle. However, if we invert a circle that goes through the center, we get a line. We can think of lines as circles that go through the point at infinity. Then we can safely say that circles get mapped to circles under inversion. Now we are ready to tackle the original problem. We can set our circle with center in one of the touch points. Then those two circles get mapped to lines. In fact, they will get mapped to parallel lines since they only intersected each other in one point and that point becomes the point at infinity. The other two circles get mapped to circles and the four of them touch each other in the final picture. Now, if we can prove that in this picture the touch points are on the same line, then we are done. This is because if they are on the same line in the picture before inversion, these three and the map of the point of infinity which is the center were in the same circle which is what we want to prove. In order to prove that, let us draw the touch line between the touch points and the line between the centers. The line between the centers go through the touch point. Now 
after drawing this line we can see the parallel lines and thus we can conclude that the alternate angles are equal since we have two isosceles triangles and one of their angles are equal we can reason that the other angles are equal as well this gives us that the opposite angles are equal and the, since the circle are touching the centers and the touch point is in a line so the touch points must be in a line too